Hi, everyone. I'm James Proton. I'd like to give a special thank you to our sponsors for the podcast. Welcome to the podcast, everyone. Today, we're, we're doing something a little different. Nick and I had a conversation and we decided, you know, our, our mission is to talk to, tell stories of really cool people who are doing really cool things and some different things. And we thought, why not feature some kids that are doing really cool stuff? Maybe it's a sport, maybe it's a, you know, something with academics with school or something like that. So today is our first very first ever episode of our amazing kids series and joining us today for our first show is Jace Cherby. Jace is a motocross racer and uh, pretty much a little bit of everything, plays hockey, plays football, baseball, basketball, a little bit of everything, but his main sport is is motocross. He lives in North Dakota uh, on at Minot Air Force Base, and he's come a long way to sit here and, and talk with us today. So, Jace, welcome. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. So, Jace, you are... You've had some pretty good success as a motocross racer. You 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 have fun doing that. Yeah, it's very exciting when you get to, like when when you get to feel the feeling of winning. Because uh -huh. when you're in the lead, it feels like it feels like you have a lot of pressure on you. That does. So how does it, how do you how do you handle that when you do you, do you feel different when you're in the lead to hold the lead or when you're like in second or third trying to get the lead? Yeah. What what? It, so. When you do it, it's kind of like you have to lock in and think and pretend like there's nobody behind you and act like like you're in a race. But uh -huh. it depends on the skill rider that you're trying to either pass or keep behind you. Okay. Okay. Very good. Very good. So you race in the 50, 50 A class, right? Which yes. is the top class for 50s. Yeah. And then the 65 B class because you this is your first year in a 65, right? Yeah. So you have uh, you have two bikes. You have a yes. KTM 65 yeah. and a Cobra. Mm -hmm. The Cobra's pretty cool. That yeah. was like custom made. You you yeah. were you were surprised when that showed yeah. up, aren't you? Yeah, I got that in the first race of of the motocross series. So you're you right now now you were how long have you been riding? You're nine, right? Yeah, I want to say three years. Three years. So you started out riding in Missouri when you when your dad yeah. was stationed in Missouri, right? So that's yeah. when you started. And you were in the Missouri series. Yeah. So the whole thing that started is I wanted the scooter and all I had to do is start riding and that's how I got into it. And you 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 didn't like dirt bikes for a while because you had yeah. a you had a little bit of a mishap. You kinda kinda yeah. you had an encounter with a tree or something like that, yeah. I remember. Yeah. That hurt. Yeah, and you told dad to sell your bike. Yes, I did. And then you started, if I remember, tell me if I'm wrong, when you and your dad and Brian Orr, my man, went to Supercross in Indianapolis. And yeah. who was the who was the guy you talked to, the racer? I want to say I want to say Cooper Webb. Cooper Webb, exactly. So you talked to Cooper Webb, and next thing you know, you said, "Dad, don't sell the dirt bike," and he started racing. Yes, and now I'm in the points lead in the series. So, and that's yeah, that's where I was going. So, right now, you are the current points leader in both 50A and 65B in the North Dakota State Series, right? Yes. So it, you're the points leader in both classes. Yeah, and that's hard to hold the points lead. Uh, sure it is. Sure it is because everybody knows who you are and they're all trying to beat you. Yeah, and we have like this little group of all my friends and we all like to challenge each other. So it's harder and harder every race. Well, that's pretty cool. So do you get a chance to practice between races very much? Yes, I I will go to a track that has like no people and like make my own lines and mm -hmm. get what's comfortable. And then I will start jumping stuff and get the rhythm. And when I go to the race, I start winning. Excellent. So tell, tell the people that are watching what it means to make your lines. What is that? What does that mean? So that means, so which one are you saying? So if you're, if you're going on, on a new track, right. And you're yes. going to go out and you're doing your practice. So you're going to find, you're going to make your lines. So what does that mean? What are you trying to do whenever you do that? Okay. So sometimes there can be a kid in the middle of the main line where everybody likes to go. So mm -hmm. you have to try to find the next line that looks comfortable and that you think that you can go through. And then okay. eventually you'll get through through them and then 
And I'm not going to blame those kids that do that because they're still learning. And one day sure. they'll grow up to be as fast as we are. So, And that's good. That's good. Yeah. So because when you practice, when you go to a new track, for example, and when you like the first time you went to Williston, for example. Right. So you've never ridden on that track before. So you have to go and you your, your and your practice runs. Try to figure out what's the best way to go through is inside on this turn outside on that turn. Yeah. So what do you do? How, how do you think through that? So. When you're coming through the corner, so you make your decision before you hit the line so you already know where you're going. And then sometimes when we're at a practice today, we'll have like the group of my friends go to the track and we'll like okay. trade, trade each other's bikes and try and see what, like if we should adjust to some of the things that they have on their bikes. Oh, okay, okay. So, and, and the bikes are pretty much all the same, right? It's yeah. either a Cobra, or KTM, a Honda, yeah. or something like that, yeah. you know, so, but they're all the same uh, power. Yeah. Right. So it's it's a pretty even in it. So a lot of it, it, it winning and being, you know, points leader, for example, is it, you need to be a pretty good rider, number one. But number two, you need to really understand the tracks and how to how to op, how to move on the tracks. Right. It doesn't really matter how fast you are. It just matters that you're trying. There you go. That's perfect. That's a great answer. That's a great answer. I love it. And so. What was it? Was it last year or two years ago that you got invited to go to the KTM Junior Supercross in Orlando? I think that was last year. And that was uh, that was a pretty cool experience, huh? Yeah. It surprised me that I got third and got to be on the big screen in the big Camping World Stadium. And It was a huge they, stadium, wasn't it? Yeah, and they usually don't race there. That used to be like one of the old tracks that they uh -huh. used to race on. So that was actually pretty cool that I got to go race at that stadium. Yeah, and plus you did it like during a pro supercross race. Yes. It was scary because we were standing there doing our interviews and stuff. And then the and then the, they started doing the LCQs. It's like the guys that don't make it in the first like qualifying thing, uh -huh. they, they go in the LCQ and try to make it there. And I remember them coming behind us and it scared me. Did it? And I was like, whoa. <laughs> and everybody's goal on motocross is to make it to Loretta Lynn. Roletta Lins, which is the big, one of the biggest pro or amateur national races. Yeah, and that's so Loretta's is kind of like the national championship for each age group, right? Yes. So it goes from 50s where what you race in all the way up to like yeah. 450, and the, the older and, kids. And they have so much things. And I, and I made it to the regional, which is the race before that, but I didn't make it. I think I got like 23rd overall. But you did. You got 21st at the regional out of 70, but you won the area qualifier. You finished yes. first out of 28 racers, yeah. right? So then you went to, and that was that was in Wisconsin, right? Yes. So, well, both were in Wisconsin. Yeah. So you went to, you went to the area qualifier and you won that, which got you to the regional and you did really good. 20, yeah. 21st out of 70 racers is pretty good for your first yeah. time, right? Yeah. So, so that's the first time you raced at that level. Yeah. And you could go watch YouTube videos and everything about it, but that mm -hmm. doesn't change any of your speed or anything. Right, right. So, again, it's all about learning the track and, and yeah. understanding how what, what the other racers I, are going to do. What I like to do is I like to watch videos before I race uh -huh. on the new track so I know what it's going to be like and I know the conditions of the track. Very, very cool. So so how do, how do you compare – racing in the series on you know on the on the, re the tracks like in you know in 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 Williston or Dickinson or even or, or even in Wisconsin how did that compare to being on the big pro track in Orlando um what's the difference so some that all the jumps are way bigger some of the tracks that we race on in North Dakota they don't have a lot of jumps those tracks they always have a lot of jumps and some of the top riders even make mistakes. Everybody mm -hmm. makes mistakes in riding. Sure, sure. So have you had um, have you had any crashes in, since you've been racing? Yes, I actually went to a, a pro national, which is the outdoors of the same guys that I did in Orlando. I went over the bars and I was trying to brace myself, but I wasn't able to bring my arms back in. So it was hard, and I and I didn't get my other arm in, so I so it cracked my wrist back, and I broke a bone in there. And that actually was here in Pennsylvania, right? Yes, it was. Yeah, yeah and we, uh, I remember that because Pap was there. Yeah. Yeah, so we um, we took you to the emergency room. And, yeah. And that was, uh, that was an interesting trip yeah. home, huh? I think that, that was my cousin's graduation. It was day, last so year, that, yeah. Yeah, I don't think anybody enjoyed that. No, <laughs> no, and you didn't have very much fun at the yeah. party after that. No, because I was, because there's like the, 
so you get hurt and there's a little bit of pain and then it cools off and then it gets back on. I like the end of the party, it started to go. So good, I was good. good through the party. Good, and you didn't miss that many races and you no. you went back to racing. Were, yeah. were you were you afraid a little bit the next race back from that? Do you remember? No, I just remember trying hard and trying to not be nervous about it. Okay. Do you, is there anything, any kind of like little trick you do to, to not be nervous at the beginning, before always, a race? I always say like an encouraging word or a sentence all fast and then sometimes. So on the, being on the gate is really scary because you don't, the first time you don't know how fast they're going to be. Uh -huh. But once you go to the next race, you know how fast you need to be and how and to the, do that. The start's pretty important, huh? It's important yes. to get that whole shot and be the, and get you, out of there. And if you don't get the whole shot, you're, it's going to be hard to get back up to the front because there's right. going to be maybe some slower kids in your way or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and sometimes when you're out in front and you're you're doing really fast, and especially if you're like you're you're, you're the, the person that's second, or if you're second the person's first, you're going really fast, and sometimes yeah. you lap the kids you, that are yeah. that are you less get, experienced. When you're in first and then you get past, you get really mad. I get really angry when I'm doing it, so. I just think when it when we finish, I'm mad, but I'm like, hey, good race, good well, pass, and, and that's good, good everything. And I think, do you, um, you know, all you talked about all your friends uh, yeah. that you race against. So you guys go out yeah. and you try to beat each other on a track, but then after the race is over, you kind of you're, you're you're you go back to being yeah. friends and you just hang yeah. out and. And most of my friends, one's Jack, one's Tucker, one's Asher. Asher looks exactly like me, and then I have Mason. And Asher and Mason kind of stay in the back of me. Tucker and Jack kind of stay in the front area. Okay. So let me ask you a, 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 an important question. Nick Nick was curious about this. Whenever you're racing, does your hair get in your eyes? Uh, no, because the helmet, it fits me, and I'm able to tuck my hair up in, and okay. it won't bother me. You know, Nick... Nick gives haircuts too. He, you, you want to get a haircut while you're here? Sure. Before we go, we can. Yeah, I have to. <laughs> <laughs> you do have to. Yeah. Cause, so when when do you go back to school? When does school start again? In like a week. Really? Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. You're going to what? Fourth grade? Yes. And you go to you go to school on the base on the on the yeah. Air Force base. What's your yeah. school called? Uh, Dakota Elementary. Dakota Elementary. Okay, cool. And um, do you tell me a little bit about? We'll get away from the racing for a second because you also do something else that's kind of unique and for for kids your age that a lot of kids especially around here in pennsylvania wouldn't relate to but you've been in pretty much the air force your whole life yes you were born in charleston south carolina yeah and then i moved to missouri and now i'm in north dakota it's hard moving because most of the states they're far and some of the bases are like either on one side of this, mm -hmm. like they were either on the other side or closer. Mm -hmm. It's really hard to move from there, from place you, to place. Yeah, and and so this you started kindergarten and uh, first yeah. and second grade in Missouri. And my then you first, went, my my kindergarten, first and second were all down in Missouri. Okay, and you had third grade last year, so this will be your second grade in in North Dakota. Yes. Okay, so yeah, because it's like it'd be a year this month that you've been yeah. in North Dakota, right? Yeah. Do you like North Dakota? Yes, I like it because when when you predict like the summer, sometimes it will rain, but there it won't rain as much as it usually does when it's in the summertime. Cool. And when it says it's about to snow, it actually snows. So I'm actually used to that. You um you had a snowstorm this spring in like April. It was like you got like four feet yeah. of snow. It was over your head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and it was scary because I was racing down in Dickinson, and they, and they had a big tornado, blackout, and everything. It was just like a week ago. Yeah, yeah, interesting. And it it it, uh, it trashed all the all the yeah. trampolines in, in yeah, your that's neighborhood. That's why I didn't. <laughs> that's why I didn't get a trampoline. Because one time in Missouri, we had a tornado, and my trampoline went just four houses down. Blew it. <laughs> yeah, I haven't had a trampoline since. You you've lived in a, a couple of places where there's tornadoes. That's crazy. My favorite thing to do is probably sports and all the stuff that I get to do. And you've played some other sports too, not just, I mean, you know, motocross is, is a little bit different, but yeah. you've played tra I've, traditional sports like I've, baseball and football. What are some of the others? What's yeah. your, what's your favorite sport other than racing? I would have to say football. Okay. Well, that's good. You were, I remember uh, seeing a video, you were playing quarterback and I think the coach wanted you to throw a pass, but you decided you were just going to run for a touchdown. <laughs> 
Yeah, and, and I got the touchdown. <laughs> and then I come back, and he's like, hey, Speedy. You were supposed to throw it. Yeah. <laughs> I, they, there was no one else because the time that I was about to throw it, they thought yeah. I was going to throw it, and I didn't. So I, and, that, and they were like, where's the ball? And I was like, in my hands. <laughs> Very, very cool. So do you, um, do you have any, do you have, now, oh, I know what I wanted to ask you. Yes. Since you started racing, something has changed about your race weekends, hasn't it? Yeah. You have another fan now, probably maybe your biggest fan. Mm-hmm. It's your, your sister, what's her name? Yeah, Alora. Alora. And she, I think she has more fun she, race weekends yeah. than you do. She enjoys it because when I'm on the gate, she gets to come down and, Sometimes she'll sit on my bike and everything. Is that right? And she gets happy and she thinks that she's about to go. And when she gets yeah. off the bike and has to leave, she's like, no. Yeah. And oh, she's yeah. not afraid to ride either, huh? She, yeah, no. she rides on the bikes yeah, and she's, she, she yeah. wants, she doesn't, she wants to ride. She doesn't, she's not afraid of anything. Yeah. She takes a fall. She gets back up and don't she's care. She's pretty tough. Yeah. Yeah, she is. So she's, she's going to be yeah. three in a couple of months in December. Yeah. She's going to be yeah. three. December 6th. So it's, um, so you were an only child for like six or seven years. So yeah. what's, how different is it having, having a little sister? Um, it actually changed my life a lot. She, she's. It's funny because sometimes she'll come up and I'll say, can I have a hug? And she's like, no. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> but she, she comes, but she yeah. hugs you a lot too. Yeah. I've seen her. When the race that I got my Cobra, I, I went and I took the Cobra through the rut. And I hit a rock and it kicked my back end up uh-huh. under from me. And I wasn't ready for it because you never know when you're going to crash. Sure. And I hit the bar, it hit my tire, and I started front flipping. I was like, whoa, and I sat there because I didn't know where I was. Yeah. And it knocked me out for a second. And then I tried to get my bike back up. I got help and everything. I think I finished 10th after that race. Yeah. Well, and I think the important thing there is when, when you have a crash like that, because I, I, it was a pretty big crash. I remember your dad telling me yeah. about it. But you got back up it's and funny you finished the race, which is important. It's funny because all the dads and all the kids – the, the one dad said, oh, there goes Trevi. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, a so- lot of people like to watch. Like, I remember some of my friends, they're not in the A class with me, but they're like in the B, C class. And mm-hmm. they'll always come on the side of the track and watch us jump and see what our, what we do through the corners. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. And then they try to yeah. do what you do. Yeah. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. I remember I did a training with one of the pros, and I have, I have one up in September. That you're going to do? Yeah, I'm going to do it with AJ Cat and Zero. It's down in Williston. So I'm going to go train there. I had one, and we rode like a sand track and everything, and I got me way faster. That is awesome. That yeah. is awesome. What Do you um, do you find it harder to race in sand than, than on dirt? Yes. Well, sometimes it, it's it's different because you can put a sand tire on, or you uh-huh. can, depending on how much the sand. Because I went down the race that I won for the regional. Um. Uh, that track was really sandy, and it was really hard for the 50s to get through. Because yeah. the smaller your bike, the slower it goes, but it's still pretty fast. So, is it is it hard for you because a and lot there, of times, the the um, when when the bigger bikes go, the 450s, yeah, right, they they yeah. create some yeah. deep ruts. Yeah, and your they, bike's they a lot always small. they always send out all the big bikes until they get down to the little ones because they want the little ones to know where to go. Right. Do you, have you ever gotten stuck in a rut one, for the, one of the bigger bikes because it's been de- it's it's so deep from one of the bigger bikes? I don't think I have got stuck in a rut, but I remember down in Jamestown. We haven't talked about that track yet, but we were down in Jamestown, my first ever race there. There was a rut, and it was, I would want to say like two feet deep, and usually ruts are just like two inches. So, yeah. So it was hard. Every the fifties went through easy, and I was surprised. Do you remember the uh, the first race? that your grandma and I came out to was in Illinois at Casey, Illinois. Remember yeah. at the Lincoln trail? Yeah. That sucked because we have, we have, we had this jinx for a while and, and we tell came us about down. the jinx. What was, yeah. what, what, so what was the jinx? jinx was every time like you or Graham or someone came down, either my bike would break or I would get hurt. So that's yeah. one of them was high point. One of them was that. And then we broke the jinx. I think like two weeks ago. We just did. That's yeah. right. And because then I saw you. You had. I flipped over the bars, but I fine. But you were okay. But you yeah. had three firsts and a second. You did. Yeah. You did really good. And so you, you have some sponsors. 
Yes. Right? So who, who are some of your sponsors? Give them a shout out. GoPro, O'Neill, or no, not O'Neill anymore. It was GoPro, 100%. There's my uncle's company, I'm Fitness, and then I have uh, Bike Graphics. They do all my like graphics to make my bike look cool and everything. And then I have, um, I'm trying to think. What about, you know, I, I sponsored you I, too. Yeah, I have OGO. OGO bags, they help me yeah. with my gear bag. And then I have, I, I'm not sponsored by them, but I have seven gear. Okay. Some of you might know it, might know it but James Stewart, one of the legends, one of the top mm -hmm. ones, that he, him and his brother own that company. Do they really? Yes. And I like that gear. That's the, that's yeah. the new stuff you wear now. Yeah. Yeah. I got, I kind of grown out of my own new. I still fit it. It's just like my last year wearing it. So I uh -huh. decided to go. I was going to try Fast House. But then I went and did seven because that was more comfortable than fast house. You wanna you wanna be able to like have your skin to be able to breathe, uh -huh. but you also but you also wanna be protected in all year. So our gear, it no matter what day it is, it could be a hundred degrees. We have to wear long sleeves, long pants, boots. And those are those yeah. are and I like your boots because they're red because I can tell who's yeah. who you are. Um, yeah. But the boots are heavy. Those are those yeah, are big they're boots. Yeah, they're really heavy. And so are the bikes. The bikes uh -huh. are like the heaviest thing. And it's really hard. So, because everybody says they're hot. And I'm like, what do you think we are? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because, you know, with the helmet and the goggles Even and gloves. Even though our kids were still dying. Sure. That, that's, and it has to be because I know, you know, I've been at races watching you where, yeah. you know, I'm sitting there sweating and I can't even imagine what you guys are doing with all that yeah. gear on, you know. Yeah. And it's, it's hard doing racing because because sometimes where there's either some of our family not might not be there i've had races where i haven't had my mom there yeah or my sister so speaking of your mom yeah. let's let's you yeah. uh your mom and i are from the yeah. same hometown yes. so that means she's a so, pretty tough so is my dad pretty tough cookie right yeah so i let i love my mom because she always makes all of my shirts and everything that i wear when i'm done because we race and then uh -huh. we, we, we all have campers so we'll all put like our own shirts on and stuff and she makes your shirts yeah. and so let me ask you something about your mom she did something really cool here a couple weeks ago at, yes. at the race in dickinson yeah what'd she do i'm trying to think i think that was Aaliyah. she made the shirts no 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 what did your mom do at the race with the other moto moms oh, that. the powder um, puff so so the one kid he fell over the bike was on top so they both jump over the other mom that's jack's mom and the, and she tumbles she fell yeah, yeah yeah and it was crazy because jack that weekend he landed on the back of not the mate there's two masons there but the other mason uh -huh. he landed on him and i was they, like that was and i was right crash. behind him right right so that was yeah, a pretty was bad scary. crash but what 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 did your mom do that she never did before that your dad had to teach her two minutes before? Oh, she she started to ride the bike like she never does. She's she did never a race. A bike. Yeah. So she took my 65 and, tried, and learned with that, and then she took the pit bike. Uh-huh. And she raced. Yeah. She did the powder puff that, race with, yeah, with some other there, moms. I think there was six riders, and she got six. Well, she, I, mean, I ain't going to blame her because that was the first time ever riding the first time she bike. ever rode a dirt bike. She didn't and even know how to do the she gears. Has, I want to say she See, has that like was pretty four, awesome. I think she has like four or five brothers. They used to have a bike, and I think she used to ride it a little bit. You think? Yeah, but that, that was when she was like 13, so that was years ago. She did she did good. Yeah. She did really good. That was you awesome. She used to ride too. Yeah. I remember, Yeah. I, I think, I don't I know. had a dirt bike for a long time. It, yeah. it, I didn't race on tracks like you did. We just rode them on trails and stuff like that. It was yeah. different. But... But I think I we we that riding on trails and stuff were probably more popular back then. Yeah, yeah, there weren't a lot of tracks around. The only, yeah. in fact, the only one that was around probably was High Point. Yeah, it was probably the only one. Yeah, but you like did you do really good with the uh, and, and 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 I think that the thing that makes people proud of you is that no matter what sport you do, you try your best and you do the best you can, right? Yeah. So you even wrestled, right? You even did yeah, wrestling. Yeah, I, I did wrestling for a year. You we done just a little bit about a little bit of everything. The coaches. I, I put myself in the little class class because I never wrestled before. I put them in there. They said that they wanted to move me up to the big, and I was like, no, let me let me do my first year. 
and then I did the second year, and they had me go practice down with the big ones because uh-huh. our practice was shorter than the big ones. So when we were finished, we, they would make me go down and do the one the ones with the things. Cool. It was funny because down in the older ones, they would make jokes and everything. They tried to get <laughs> us to do more. There you go. So you are... The, the reason you're here with Nick and I and you're doing the podcast is because you're here in Pennsylvania visiting yeah. with family and you come yeah. back pretty much every summer, huh? Yeah. And stay at Graham's house. So yeah. what um, what do you like about Pennsylvania? What's your favorite thing? Because usually in North Dakota, all the smells and everything, they smell well, my house especially smells because my mom watches six kids every day, including <laughs> my sister. And she does. And, she does. Yeah. She's a daycare and provider. And it smells like so all the stuff that they that. do inside of our house. But I like coming to Pennsylvania so I could have free because you guys have parks and you have a Dairy Queen and everything. I do. It's just down in town. I live yeah. on a base like 20 minutes away from town. Sure. But you guys like live in town. So mm-hmm. I like that. That's very cool. And, and but you have a lot of. On the base, right? Because yeah. you go to the base, the commissary yeah. and the BX and all that stuff. That's so, my sister's favorite. Yeah, commissary. she loves that. Yeah. You you showed me one day, um, you went to dad's shop and you saw, you showed me the big tires from a B-52. Yeah. You, those those yeah. are big planes, huh? Yeah. They're huge. Yeah. They're, the, those, are those, are, those are the only planes on our base. It's a bomber base, huh? Yeah. And, and missiles and stuff it's like, like that. It's the... There's only two bomber bases, and I live on one of them, which is one of my favorite things. And you have the you have the missile fields as well, yeah. which is really cool. I think I think my dad's going to move over there to because there's a job over there where you could go cut grass and do everything, and but you stay there for a week and do it. You don't get to come back home. And then once he comes back home for the week, he gets two weeks back home. So I think we're going to oh, do cool. that. Okay. Okay. That's that's cool. That's very yeah. cool. So. And I might, and when that happens, we might not. He might not be able to go to every race, but I've I have Tucker and we're really good friends. Uh-huh. We do we go on tubing and everything together. Oh, okay, and, cool. Uh, and yeah, I bet they would help a lot. Sure, and, and your mom can do yeah. a lot of stuff. Yeah. she's pretty she's pretty good at that stuff. It would be hard because she would have my sister too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. Well, listen, th- I I I really appreciate you coming and joining us and telling us yeah. about your racing and stuff and good mm-hmm. luck with the with the rest of it. Now, you have a race. Mm-hmm. What, next week when you go back, right? Yeah. Where's that one at? I want to say Wilson. I think you're coming and Graham's coming. Do you, do you Maybe, like that track? Yes. It's it's one of my favorites. Jamestown in there in Wilson is my favorite. Nice. So. Have you seen that giant buffalo on the hill in Jamestown? Yeah. It's pretty weird. I'll, What's that all about? The I think... Because there's two. There's two places. My friend Mason, the first Mason that I talked about, uh-huh. he has his track and there's a big buffalo there. So that's pretty cool. I like that track because it's like a 65 track. Okay. It ain't for like little bikes. So like me, my, me, Jack, and Mason went out one day and we were all there and it was just us three. And we went and we went and jumped all the big jumps. And there's this huge tabletop. Mm-hmm. And me and Jack hit it. I don't think Mason hit it because he was done for that day. Okay. And we hit it, and all we wanted to do was hit the jumps. We we were we were feeling it every day. So the one time I cleared I cleared the big double in the back. Uh huh. And Jack was like, "Let me try that," and he cleared it, and we just kept going and going. And that nice. was like our favorite jump. Nice. And they all, and half the people said that they were to us, and they came over to us, and they were like, um, they said that. You guys look like those big bikes because there's these guys that are doing wheelies and stuff across the track. Sure. And he said that we looked like them, just not as goofy. <laughs> so, <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Well, listen, dude, thank you so much for joining us. We yeah. appreciate you coming and telling us all yeah. about dirt bikes and motocross yeah. racing. And good luck with your race in Williston and, and moving you. forward, okay? Uh-huh. Some... Mm. Thank you for having me. You're very welcome.